Okay, quick video here of, uh, you know, what I just tried to do, which was go out in the pouring rain. This is like two inches in one hour type rain. And uh, got out my Gore-Tex German Mill Syrup uh, raincoat, which worked pretty well. My brand new REI ultralight rain pants, which worked fantastic. And tried to make a fire in the rain. I mean, it was just downpouring. I had no shelter, no tarp. I just tried to take all my fire starting kit out there and see what I could do. Uh, sad to say, not very successful at all. Uh, have a strike force here, right? It's supposed to work, you know, I mean, better than a lighter, of course, because the lighter is going to work in the rain. Well, as many of you know, but I guess I wasn't totally aware of, if it's completely wet, it's not going to fire. I mean, it's not going to, uh, it's, it's not going to light. It will not create a spark at all. If you dry it off and get a little friction going there, it is going to dry, it is going to spark. But when it's pouring rain, that thing does not spark at all. See, now I've dried it off a little bit, and of course it does spark. But if it was still pouring rain out, it's just not going to do it. So uh, it works better than a lighter and better than matches, but it isn't going to uh, create a spark during the rain. Uh, so I tried my REI storm matches. Those will light uh, when, I mean, they were pretty dry. Uh, it was windy out, of course, blowing. I got them lit, and it worked fine, but as, of course, many of you already know, too, here, I don't know if you can see too on my webcam, I got the emery cloth wet, and now there was no way to strike another one. So, you know, I got a couple of them struck and going, but couldn't keep striking them because nothing was dry enough to strike them, and now I've actually worn the emery cloth right off of here. So these are pretty much useless. Helped use some sandpaper. So, again, lesson learned, wreck them some kind of a shelter or... You know, stop before it starts raining. I also tried my wet fire tinder. That worked, and it was wet, and I did get it going. But, uh, you know, when the wind came up, it blew it right out. I was trying to put this all in my little pocket cooker here. You've seen me use this, I think, before. So I had it all kind of in there. You can still see, see some of it. And I did start it going a little bit, but, you know, it was just pouring rain. Uh, here's some tree bark that I use off of a pine tree. This is what I use for my... Um, tinder and I keep some of this in a Ziploc bag and you know you, there's some resin in here and you can hair it out and of course I have cotton ball and Vaseline I was using my uh, K-Bar Becker DK2 which uh, worked pretty well out there you know I mean I was satisfied with that but you got to try your kit out you got to try it when you're not depending on it and I could not make a fire for anything I would have had to step back I was getting colder of course just sitting there I mean, and it's, you know, 60 degrees out. It isn't exactly uh, cold out, but I would have had to put up a tarp first and, you know, get myself out of the rain, keep that rain from coming down on top of you. It, it just, you know, try your kit out, see what you can do. You know, experience is going to help you, but, uh, you know, I, I did not succeed here. So any tips other than putting up a shelter or a tarp, uh, gladly uh, take them. Thanks for watching.